It's no brainer that locked on tripod shots are what you can achieve easily, especially when you're a solo filmmaker. But it's those subtle pan and tilts which makes your video more cinematic. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a very easy way to do an in-camera pan, tilt and zoom, which can be repeated anywhere and any number of times. Hi guys, welcome back. Irrespective of whether you're doing interviews or product shots or a documentary film, it's adding those subtle moments in your camera that can make your videos go from OK to wow. The simple technique that I'm going to teach you today doesn't involve any gimbals or sliders. It is done using in-camera options and it is an option which is found in Panasonic Lumix camera. And what I'm showing you today is from my Panasonic Lumix GH5. For those of you lesser models who have not gone through the camera manual or probably have not gone through the menu items available in the Panasonic Lumix series of cameras, there is a specific option available which is called 4K Live Cropping. This is exactly what we are going to use today to get those pan, tilt and zoom done within the camera. Going into this option shows off 20 second, 40 second and off. Don't get carried away if you feel it's not getting related to what we are talking. It will just in a few moments from now. Let's start by selecting 20 second. Click on the adjust button on the bottom left of the screen and you'll find guidance to set the start frame. Use the joystick and control the dial to set the desired frame. Once done, click set. Now it prompts you to set the end frame. Repeat the process to set the desired end position and click set. Now when you hit the record, the camera will automatically track from the start till the end frame over a period of 20 second. Now it's up to your creative ability to use a combination of these to simulate pan, tilt or zoom or a combination of these in your videos. Here are a few examples of it in action in my recent Tamron lens review. Now let's have a look at some key things that you should remember when using this technique. For obvious reason, this works only in 1080p mode because it's a 4K crop. By default, only 20 and 40 second recording options are available in this particular technique. But if you really need, you can actually speed up the video or probably even do a speed ramp to get a certain effect that you want. It's always preferred to use a wide angle lens with this technique to get the best results. If this technique is something which you really like and probably want to use it multiple times in the future, I suggest you assign it to a function button so that it can be enabled or disabled quickly. Now time for a pro tip. If you are using this in the 40 second recording mode and if you are shooting something which has a lot of movement, then you can speed up the footage and get something like a motion time lapse. Now for some bonus pro tip. If you are using this to record something like a before and after, you can throw in some glitch transitions to go from the before and after because you know the shots are repeatable and you can align your shots very easily during post production. So guys that was it, a very easy way to do in camera pan, tilt and zoom and a combination of these using your Panasonic Lumix cameras. If you really like this video, please make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such useful tips and techniques. That's it for now and I'll see you guys again in the next one. But before you leave, remember 